It's a buzz around Kimberley with the Tafel Lager Griquas up against the New Nations Pumas in what essentially is a quarterfinal match. Playing for a semi-final, Jimmy was revving up his tubes lock. I was too legit. I was too legit to quit. And those wise words worked like the bomb.com because Pumas came out the gates playing running rugby. Here comes Devin Williams. Lovely pass to him. Majima's per pass is a perfect one. He has a real chance now. Can they get it in the corner? <laughs> and Tapira Mafura, I mean, Oaks talk about mobility, but my Chanya had to stretch them toe muscles. Hold tight when you tilt toe. Nothing wrong with ballet, by the way. Now, I don't know what pre-workout Jimmy gave them, but the Pumas were flying. Here comes Shane Kirkwood, and suddenly the tables have turned. <laughs> but then, the Griquas hit the double clutch. Here they come. It's an opportunity. It's a try. Eric Cunha. Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but isn't the photographer supposed to take photographs? Odd lines, brother. A 13-all draw. What are the chances? Jimmy, as if the first 18 minutes of now wasn't nervous enough, you've got to put up with it again when the Sharks play Western Province later. Yeah, it's like you won the battle but you lost the war, you know. Whereas the first match was a decider, our second match was between the first and last on the log. Or a triangle choke. Despite the low stakes nature of this match, it was still a try bonanza, a try extravaganza, a try throwing the ball through the hands with both sides clapping it. Way to Jasper. Just how I like it. But in the end, the Bulls made sure they got their home semi. Next up, we go to Durban for our featured match between the South Sea Sharks and DHL Western Province. For Western Province, they've got a win with a bonus point, and that is the big question. Are they good enough to do that? The permutations reminded me of what I needed to pass my matric maths exam. With the Sharks looking unstoppable, the chances of Vierpia landing a semi-final are like snow falling in Cape Town. So snow has also fallen on Table Mountain. Let it snow! Let it snow. snow in Cape Let Town in September, China. I mean, I thought we were meant to have global warming. And as per usual, province started like they owe someone money, scoring in the eighth minute. There's the try. And Dan Duplessis was on a personal mission lock. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. And he very nearly got there. Advantage. Province have got it now. That's great hands. Little chip through from Duplessis and he gets his second. That is a try for Dan Duplessis. But never count your chickens before they hatch, China, because you know how the sharks do. <laughs> exactly, China. With no humber and the crazy no-look pass which leads to the Sharks running rugby, we have seen all competition. Chance for Pepsi Buddha Lazy, he gets the offload, Yao Penke is over, and that is the try, that is brilliant from the Sharks. Penalty to the Sharks, taken quickly by Nahamba, away he goes, great little offload to Buddha Lazy, Buddha Lazy under the post, that is fantastic, Sharks hit the front. And just like that, Province's semi-final hopes came crashing down. Cronier was on the move. And it makes all the difference. A little chip and chase from Cronier. Penke is there as well. Penke scores! But Province still went hunting for that bonus. Never losing hope. And the try is scored. That is brilliant. And that means that they have the bonus point. Can they hang on? And in the 83rd minute, on the ropes, with the Sharks launching another lethal attack, Province had had enough. Smile, you son of a... <laughs> Edward van der Merwe snatched the ball out of the jaws of defeat, you're welcome, and ran in for the winning try. And just like that, Province... Booked themselves a semi-final berth. 
and John Dobson's range of emotion went from let's get the party started to what the hell not again to we back in this to we mark the jaw full it's ya So there you have it, ladies and gentle oaks. Friday, the Vodacom Bulls take on DHL of Eastern Province at Loftus First Fall. And Saturday, the Sharks take on the Griquas to determine the finalists in this year's rendition of the Carlin Curry Cup. Griquas playing for their first final in 51 years. I will see you then, my Chinas and Chinese. <laughs>